broadcasting from Mabula, Kuwait. This is the Me and Larry reality video show, the LTL editorial. Of course, uh, I'm giving out my LTL. Of course, uh, as I've said last week, the LTL stands for Little Tender Love, Little True Love, and Little Tough Love. First of all, the little tender love goes to Mrs. Steve McNair, whose uh, husband was sh shot and killed in a murder-suicide by his uh, girlfriend. And uh, reportedly, she was 20 uh, years old or 20-something years old. Uh, I knew uh, football, even football, and uh, moving on into uh, civilian life, uh, you're going to have a financial bind. And uh, it came about to where, uh, through the financial bind, uh, that caused a lot of trouble. Of course, uh, if he got involved with the creditors, you will have problems. You will have problems. The girlfriend will have problems. The wife will have problems. Anybody will have problems if you go into a storm with the creditors, of course. And so, uh, in that, uh, we give uh, a little tender love for Mrs. Steve McNair. She held uh, strongly and proudly during the, uh, his memorial service uh, Friday. Also, a little tender love for, guess who? Yours truly, because uh, the world's media do not listen to him. Uh, I told him about the facts that was going on in Honduras. All they think about is that exiled president, is he going to go back to his country and uh, organize American states? Or are they going to go ahead and uh, oust, uh, cut off uh, Honduras from there and uh, have to oust the president to come back to his own country? So, so, so. It did not go for uh, that ousted president, and I told you so because I had viewers um, emailing to me telling me the, uh, the truth of what happened that the Civil Congress did try him and convict him for drug trafficking and buying arms, having the planes come down to, to uh, serve him like he was uh, uh, owning uh, White Castle or McDonald's or Burger King or any fast food joint. Just like Pizza Hut, they had one too down there. But also, uh, the one that really got my goat is, of course, uh, President Barack Obama went down to uh, Ghana and uh, was talking about the slavery and the First Lady Michelle saying that the slavery uh, where the grand my grandfather was uh, reportedly to, to be at in West Africa and they picked just Ghana. Wait a minute. I disagree with that. The world uh, media is uh, snowballing you. Uh, the BBC snowballing you. I, uh, CNN snowball you. Fox made a snowball you. And uh, maybe your advisor uh, was uh, misinforming you. The, really, the real thing is the, uh, slave, there's a slave house in Goy Island outside uh, Dakar, Senegal. That's the history of it. If you don't believe me, uh, talk to President Bill Clinton. Talk to George Bush. They've been there. They tell you the stories. And they uh, had the historians to teach them on the, uh, the history of it at the slave house in Dakar, Senegal. I know you was then about the politics about it down there in Ghana. Well, and it's English Connolly, but get the history straight, Mr. President. You need to learn about Gore Island and Senegal. That's the real history. My wife looked it up. That is true history. So, little tender love for yours truly, me. And this is all for LTL, little tender love. And it's LTL sounding off.